Welcome to my new build. This is a series of videos where I'm going to be building a balsa flying wing. This is King Combat and it was published in RCM magazine in 1979 and I'm really excited about this. It's a fairly simple build because it's just a wing and uh, the stuff I've read about it, it's a real screamer. It's designed for a, a, a 15 or possibly a 20 size engine, if you, a 20 if you really want it to go. I'm going to put a 15 in it to start with, just go nice and steady. Uh, I've got a lovely old Thunder Tiger engine from about the same period actually as this, this design, which should go just nice. If you want to have a look at that engine and the running, have a look in the description below and there'll be a link to a, a, a test video I did. So, there's very little to be done, um, very little that I'm planning on modifying or changing. The, the biggest thing will be the linkage around the, the flaperons. So the only control surfaces are the two ailerons, uh, elevator, so flaperons. And it's just technology's come on so I can do that with my transmitter rather than this, this linkage here. So that'll be a bit, a bit simpler. The fins here, there's a couple of vertical fins. They are in 1.8 balsa at the moment. I may just do those in plywood because if it comes down, they're just going to snap off. So I'll, I'll see about that anyway. I said this is from RCM magazine. There's also a article that comes with it. It's, uh, it's more of a description really. It's not really a build article. Although having said that, there are some interesting photographs which you might glean some information from. So, as I said, it's a very simple design. I, I've started to do some preparation, but to be honest, there's very little preparation uh, I can do for this. The, the main thing is, is doing the ribs, and um, I've, I've made identical ribs using the, the, the method I, I, I used before, where I make plywood formers and uh, a, a sandwich of, of balsa ribs. If you're interested in how I do this, have a look in the description below and there'll be another link to a video I posted a while back just showing how I make identical ribs. But anyway, I've got the ribs made. I've also put in uh, 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 balsa wood sorry, for these uh, sort of false ribs here which will go along the front. I thought I might as well make those at the same time because I've got the profile. So you can see there there's a, a back bit missing here. I just used a bit of balsa that was a little bit too short because at the end of the day I just want the front for the false rib. What else have I done? I've, I've, made, <laughs> I've made the wing tips. I, I don't know why but I seem to be making enough for two wings. I'm not sure whether I'm uh, making one for a friend or whether I'm just assuming that one isn't going to last that long with my flying but we'll see anyway. So I'm making, I've got four wing tips here and I've got enough ribs for, uh, for two wings so we'll see how that goes. And the only th other thing I've done is I, after I've made some of the wing uh, or templates I had a little bit of the balsa left over and I thought well I might as well do this just cut this up strip it down for the cap strips on top of the ribs so I've got that so the next stage is to have a think about how I'm going to build the wing because the ribs are symmetrical or more or less symmetrical they're not absolutely symmetrical I need to think about how I'm just going to support this as I as I build it up but that should be easy enough, just take a little bit of thinking about and the next video I do will be constructing the main um, structure of the wing if you like. I haven't bothered to make any of these little bits because from past experience I might as well just wait until I need them because sizes change, these may not be 100% accurate as you find with all plan builds there's going to be a little bit of shrinkage and stretch and warp when the, the, uh, the original plans were, were, were scanned and I've had these printed at my local printers which may have added a, a, an extra twist in it as well. So I'm going to get on now and uh, think about how I'm going to pin out that wing and get it built. But I hope you'll follow me in this series of videos and uh, 
and we'll see how scary this thing is.